to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, who the Word only calls God. Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, who the Word only calls Jesus Christ. Would like to say the water or thank you to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for the Rakakwadash. <clears throat> the Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. Double honor goes out to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akiyon, Wise, Aquanium. All around the world, preaching this word and truth and this sincere to Shalom to the whole for a lit. All right, start your call with the men of Valley, South Carolina account. Coming back with another uh, another quick lesson real quick. You know, I just want to go into, um, you know, the topic that's been hot about the heathen nations, the other nations being uh, delivered, being saved, being in the kingdom with us. All right. And uh, that's not so. Okay, only the salvation is only for the uh, the elect or this first go round. All right, salvation is only for the elect of the nation of Israel. Then ultimately, all of Israel will be saved. All right, um, so just want to say that the um, the heathen, but but the heathen will be in the kingdom. All right. The heathen will be in the kingdom, but they will be in the kingdom as servants and handmaids. All right. The heathen will be in the kingdom as servants and handmaids, a.k.a. slaves. All right. So let's uh, get into that. It's Isaiah 14 and 1 for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. And set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So Yahweh Bashem Yahshah will have mercy on Jacob, the Israelites, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. So the Heavenly Father is going to deliver us from Babylon the Great, all right, and put us back in our own land over there in Israel. It says, and the strangers shall be joined with them. Now, this strangers that is talking about is the Israelite foreigners, all right? The Israelites that may not necessarily look like the average so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. The Israelites that don't know that they are, uh, that they are Jacob, okay? That's who the strangers are that were joining, the Israelite foreigners. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Verse 2, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. All right, and this people is talking about the heathen nations. All right, and the Israelites are going to possess those heathen nations for servants and handmaids. It says, And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives whose captains they were and shall rule over their oppressors all right so the heathens are going to be in the kingdom yeah for sure so but they're going to be what servants and handmaids all right they're going to be captives all right so it's not going to be no heathen nations all right no edomite no ishmaelite no moabite no japhite no hamite side by side living the same life having the same uh, pleasures, having the same houses, chariots, okay, having the law, statutes, and commandments already programmed into them, all right, like the Israelites. No, the heathen nations will be servants and handmaids and getting the law, statutes, and commandments beaten into them, all right, getting uh, told the law, statutes, and commandments told by us, laying that law down, all right. But well, yeah, so the heathen, they're going to be in the kingdom, all right? But they're going to be servants and handmaids. It's Revelation 13 and 10. He that lead it into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patient and the faith of the saints. All right? So this is more proof. All right? And these are scriptures that we love to uh, hit on to uh, prove and sh and show and tell and and persuade ourselves in our own mind that the heathens are going into slavery all right that's a beautiful thing that's something called recompense see a lot of you jakes don't want recompense man a lot of you jakes so comfortable in babylon the great so uh, out of touch with the uh the hardcore slavery and bondage 
that your forefathers went through. And see, I'm a brother that uh, hold that dearly, man. All right. I know through the spirit, my spirit still uh, got that hate. All right. For the heathen nations for putting us in slavery. So I know, you know, hey, they did a number on me uh, in slavery because I still hold that dearly. I still dislike these nations, still hate these nations, still want to see these nations in, in hardcore bondage because of the slavery, the hardcore bondage that they put our people in. It's Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcome it and keep it my works until the end, to him will I give power over the nations. See? Yeah, they're going to be up there, but they're going to be under us. We're going to The Israelites going to have power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of, of potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. And that's how we're going to be ruling those heathen nations, man, with a damn rod of iron, beating them. All right, when they uh, uh, don't follow the laws, statutes, and commandments, as we say. Um... The Joel 3 and 6, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where ye have sold them and will return your recompense on your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah and they shall send, sell them to the Sabians to a people far off for Yahweh by Shem Yahushai hath spoken it. All right. So we're going we're gonna to have our own slave trade going, man, in the kingdom. And these heathens going to be going for a good price. <laughs> All right? That's the recompense. That's the vengeance. Oh, yeah, how about Shemi outside? We want what the Heavenly Father wants. We love what the Lord loves. We hate what the Lord hates. All right? So, hey, ain't no heathen making it, man. Ain't no heathen going to be side by side with Jake in the kingdom. They're going to be uh, under us. In the slums, in the pits, all right, with the worst of everything, eating roadkill, all right. Just how Jay is at the bottom of the bottom now. Got a slave, got to do this and got to do that. Hey, Esau gonna be uh, uh, the lower class of society, man, and all the nations. This is Psalms one forty nine and five. Let the saints be joyful in the glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth. And a two and a two edged sword in their hand. Alright, and the saints are who the Israelites. And the praise of Yahweh about Shimei is gonna be in our mouth, and a two edged sword in our hand. And what we're gonna be doing with that sword? To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. See, that's what we're gonna be doing in the kingdom of heaven, man. Alright. <clears throat> Executing vengeance upon the heathen. It said to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. So uh, after the uh, the nuclear, all right, destruction, after the chariots get done uh, uh, firing on this place, all right, all the elites, all the uh, upper echelon, okay, of uh, these heathen nations that make it in their bunkers, they're going to be the first fruits of slavery in the kingdom. And we're going to bind them with chains, all right, and fetters of iron, AKA have them in hardcore slavery, making them servants and handmaids. All right, so yeah, the kingdom, yes, the heathen will be in the kingdom, but they will be servants and handmaids in the kingdom. All right, so hey, if you got a soft spot for heathens, all right, you better, uh, better make them a good house slave. Don't give them a good job, a hard job. If you got a, if your, uh, if your best friend Elamite, your favorite coworker uh, 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 Elamite, all right, you better look at him like, all right, he's just gonna be a house, a house slave. <laughs> all right, you better do that if you got a soft spot for the heathen. But these heathens are going to be servants and handmaids in the kingdom. Call Halaya, how about Shai? Shalom.